Hey everyone, welcome to our new home. It's extremely peaceful here as the cockatoos are flying over. It has been one week since we moved in and I am gonna be doing a full house tour so you can learn everything that we have along this building journey and just show you what the house is like. But today, it's all about the Powerwall 3 because one week living with the Powerwall 3 has been really interesting. We have been opening the Tesla app every day and monitoring what's going on, how much energy we're consuming, what the soul is doing, and what the differences are between Powerwall 2. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first is the install. We decided to mount it on the south side of the house, which means it's not getting any harsh sunlight and it is somewhat protected to some of the elements. However, the Powerwall 3 is perfectly fine to be outside in a variety of conditions. So zero concern about it being on the outside of the house. I actually think it looks kind of cool. And also the install itself was super seamless. It was really easy for the Jet Solar crew to come in on the day and do the solar panels and the Powerwall 3 install plus this gas Gateway. We were kind of finished up just after lunchtime. They said to me that this new design versus Powerwall 2 just makes it a lot easier for them to install. So it's a plus on their side, but just as a homeowner, I just love the clean look. I don't really want to have a third party inverter that's non Tesla branded. Um, so this just keeps it really clean. Probably if I had my time again, I would have got them to put the gateway inside the garage so that the power wall was standalone. I think that would have looked even better. But in my defense, we changed the position of the power wall so many times. There's so many regulations to consider here in Victoria about where you can actually have it. I really didn't want to get bollards. I actually originally wanted it right by the front door, but my wife wasn't too happy about that. Regulators would have been fine with that, but not the wife. When it comes to charging the car, this is actually one of the first things I noticed about Powerwall 3 because this house was still a building site and I was traveling here after hours when there was no solar, plugging the car in to give it a top up and the Powerwall 3 can output double the amount of Powerwall 2. So 10 kilowatts straight out the battery, I was able to charge the car at 32 amps so max charging on the destination charger so that was pretty incredible not having to pull from the grid at a time that would have cost me peak usage rates i was getting my energy for free to top up the car and since we moved in we've actually been 100 percent self-sufficient we have only on odd occasions by mistake pulled a little bit from the grid. We've had some family come who also have Teslas and they've plugged in at 32 amps and I've forgotten to switch it off at the right time. We're yet to set up the charge on solar feature that comes with power walls. So every time I'm plugging in, I'm just opening the app and checking what load the solar is happy to take. It's still relatively early in the morning. So I'm sitting the car at about 25 amps. Anything above that will start pulling from the grid. So it's yeah, literally just jumping in and managing that until we get the ability to exclusively charge on solar, which I think will pop up within the app in a couple of weeks or so. So yeah, it's literally been kind of like jumping into the Tesla app and managing and juggling the energy consumption of the home which for us has been really exciting we've really enjoyed that and being a new house we're able to go in and try out all the new appliances like the induction cooktop and the new massive ducted air conditioning system we've got turn all of them on and see whether the solar and or the power wall can handle it and we're yet to find an instance where it's pulling from the grid. We're able to just be our own little energy ecosystem. Now, something that is interesting is that because Powerwall 3 is such a new product, uh, it's not yet ready to export solar through that inverter out to the grid, in Victoria at least. So that is somewhat outside of Tesla's control right now but that will come with a firmware update. For the time being, what it means for us is when you're not using solar in your home and you're not charging your car, your solar actually comes down to zero. So it's really weird to open the Tesla app on a sunny day, midday, and you're like, oh my God, my solar is not producing anything, but it's literally because it has nowhere to go. So perfectly sunny day right now, and the solar, is currently producing 0.3 kilowatts. So it makes it even more 
fun and important for us to utilize that energy, right? To capture it. So we're plugging in the car, uh, we're running the AC sometimes when we feel like, oh, we might not necessarily need to, but it's nice to just use up the energy, get the dishwasher going, the dryer. So yeah, that has been really interesting. So I love being able to check the real time energy usage on the Tesla app while things like this brand new induction cooktop is going because you can see how efficient they are. And to my surprise, boiling the kettle flat out on nine was only using about two kilowatts. So that's the cool thing about being in a new house and having updated appliances. For example, the hot water heat pump is incredibly efficient, like 80 to 90% more efficient than the old electric hot water system we had. So yeah, feeling really quite good about all the things we have in the house. So as someone that came from Powerwall 2 and now living with Powerwall 3, the main difference we are noticing is just how much that energy output changes things. So going from five kilowatts maximum coming out of the Powerwall 2 to now the Powerwall 3 bringing into the house up to 10 kilowatts, what that means when you're living in the home is that you're just pulling from the grid less, in our case, really not at all, early in the morning and late at night when there's no solar because you might turn on multiple things and before you know it, you're actually over five kilowatts. With Powerwall 3, it's very rare to be over 10 kilowatts, so it basically covers everything and then it charges up from the sunshine and you're good again at night. So that is actually a bit of a game changer. I know it's a small difference, but when you go into the app and you look at your stats, you'll notice that it's just all coming from the battery during those early mornings and late nights. So there's only two things that have caught us off guard so far with energy consumption since we moved in. One is charging the car, as I mentioned, make sure that we stop charging that when the solar stops. Number two is the heated flooring that we've put into the bathrooms. That actually uses a lot of energy. So if we didn't have solar and a power wall, I actually would feel really bad about turning this on at all. But to my knowledge, the power wall has not dropped below 50% once since we moved in. Now consider we're not exporting to the grid, so we're not actually selling off that battery power yet. I have not felt once that we've needed more battery capacity or more solar capacity. Now you can ask me again in winter, but this has just felt like the perfect fit for us so far. So the area that we're living in suffers from a lot of power outages. Most of the neighbors have petrol generators, so it's going to be incredibly beneficial to us when that the power outages happen. Not only do we have features like Stormwatch that predicts when there's a likely chance of that occurring, but also you can't even tell apart from the notification on your phone that the power's gone out. You're not going to the garage and dragging out a generator. The power will just seamlessly continues to power your home. That is something that we are really looking forward to experiencing. So follow along, there's a lot more to come. Um, I can't wait to share more of the house with you in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for the full house tour. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in another video soon.